So now, uh, honorable guest speakers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I would like to invite our next guest speakers, uh, Dr. Catherine Pramer, a director at Cambodia STEM Excellency Partway, Phnom Penh, Cambodia. And our topic is about expanding mentoring opportunity to rural school without Wi Fi. So, our guest speakers will have 30 minutes for the presentations, including the question and answer. So, now I would like to give this floor to Dr. Catherine. Please welcome, Dr. Thank you so much. Can you see my screen? Can you see? Yes, we can see. Yeah. Thank you for attending this session on expanding mentoring opportunities to rural schools without internet access as part of the Cambodia Conference on Mentoring Educators 2021. My name is Dr. Catherine Cromer, Executive Director, Advancing Education, Visiting Professor, NGPRC, NIE, International Research Associate at ELRC at Texas A&M University, the Director of the Cambodia STEM Excellence Pathway, and for this conference, the CICME 2021, I'm Secretary of the International Programming Committee. My co-author is Linus Anika, Chief Technology Officer of Advancing Education, and also director of Lanika STEM Lending Library. He developed the tech technology behind today's presentation. I would like to thank His Excellency, Dr. Hang John Naran, Minister of Education, Youth and Sport, and His Excellency, Professor Jen Roth, Managing Director of the New Generation Pedagogical Research Center, and the members of the CICME International and Local Programming Committees for giving me this opportunity to talk about expanding mentoring opportunities to rural schools without internet access. Since 2018, we have supported the vision of the Cambodia Ministry of Education and Fin Sports, working most directly with His Excellency Professor Chan Roth, Director of the New Generation Pedagogical Research Center at the National Institute of Education in Cambodia. In this session, we will focus on three topics as they were implemented in Cambodia. The ecosystem supporting the mentoring initiative on the Raspberry Pi, the advancing education website, mentoring and coaching in Moodle through professional development courses and in professional learning communities, and Moodle on the internet in a box. To support continuous improvement in learning, for teachers and students with limited internet access and to build on the local expertise of teachers and students in real classrooms in Cambodia, we designed and developed an integrated mobile friendly software for the internet at elearn.advancinged.org and software for local intranets and schools with Lanika's version of Internet in a Box, which is a customization of the Internet in the Box software that relies heavily on Moodle. Moodle is used to share students in their courses and to share mentoring and coaching and professional development with professional learning communities at elearn.advancing.org. At this site, educators can self enroll in a learning management system at no cost, create a course, Restore and remix exemplar template courses from a course library. They can also participate in and create professional development as part of a professional learning community. And they can download courses and content to restore on the Lanika Internet in a Box intranet at a school that doesn't have access to Wi Fi. On the Lanika Internet in a Box, students and teachers can access courses content, activities, and lab probes, all without internet access or a SIM card, and from any device with a web browser. This $100 internet hub, the Vernier probes, and other STEM equipment can be distributed in Cambodia by the Lanika STEM Lending Library. And this work is supported by Advancing Education, Cambodia STEM Excellence Pathway. Who are the leaders, partners, supporters, and contributors for this phase of the initiative in Cambodia? 
at the Ministry of Education, Youth and Sports, National Institute of Education, teachers and administrators at school, Professor Chen Ra, Director of NGPRC, Bradford Hill, Matt McCollum, Portland Metro STEM Partnership. We have the Patterns Physics course on the Raspberry Pi and on Moodle in the internet. Andrea Lynch, also at Portland Metro STEM Partnership for the Patterns Chemistry and Biology on the Raspberry Pi. Robert Lesur, Sonny Brockport, he provided the GoLink software, which we use for the Vernier probes on the Raspberry Pi. David Sokoloff, University of Oregon, gave us permission to use in physics courses on the Raspberry Pi, the interactive lecture demonstration resources adapted for distance learning. Kathleen Koenig at the University of Cincinnati gave us permission to use on the Raspberry Pi labs that target scientific reasoning. Beverly Irby, Texas A&M for mentoring and training videos and publications related to the CICME 2020 International Conference. At Advancing Education and Cambodia's STEM Excellence Pathway, I represent those organizations. Also at Advancing Education is Lina Sonica for the Advancing Education Software and Integration with the Raspberry Pi and Hardware. From Internet in a Box, with great appreciation for the software and design support provided to us by Adam Holt, Tim Moody, Jerry Von Out, and George Hunt. On OpenStax, Natalie Allen, Moodle on the Internet and on the Internet with Internet in a Box. Carnegie Science Center, Tony Stiff, for the Carnegie Sim Excellence Pathway Training to be an authorized provider, and also implementation support for the Cambodia STEM Workshop. We currently have our Khmer action plan on the Raspberry Pi. For Lonica Publications, Linus Anika, for the STEM Lending Library, which supports the sharing at no cost, lab equipment, including the burning of probes, to Stephen Wolfram at Wolfram Research, for very generously providing 500 site licenses for Wolfram software and support for the Raspberry Pi and desktop implementations of Mathematica. Vernier Software and Technology, David Vernier for the GoDirect software and support for Vernier Labs on the Raspberry Pi. When planning and delivering virtual learning, tools exist to describe what key instructional indicators should look like and sound like. However, to implement best practices for 21st century online learning, it also requires assessing local needs and aligning a variety of interdependent factors including the infrastructure, the cloud, access, competencies, data, learning, leadership, and community. When considering best practices for online learning, we also have to consider local context in several areas, collaboration and communication practices, content delivery systems, digital resources, and media creation software. Consequently, the Advancing Education Internet site, elearn.advancined.org, was designed as an open education platform where, without cost, educators and professional learning communities from anywhere in the world can self enroll to participate in scaffolded curriculum development and professional development. At elearning.advancined.org, educators can create a student centered course restore, remix, and adapt, and build upon the material in the exemplar course, join a professional learning community or mentoring program, participate in professional development courses, create professional development courses, and download any courses and resources for use on a Raspberry Pi local internet hub. In addition, you can request cost-free resources from the Lanica STEM Lending Library and also get training for the products. And these include coding, robotics, digital microscopes. For physics, we have about 10 of the vernier probes, including the track. In Cambodia, including through yearly workshops with the Cambodia STEM Excellence Pathway, we collected data that indicates the major barriers to learning in Cambodia. 
The data was then used to design a novel and sustainable approach for continuous improvement in learning, which is based on the local experiences of teachers and students in rural classrooms in Cambodia. A special focus was meeting the needs of rural schools, which have limited or no access to the internet, limited resources for teachers and students, and limited opportunities for professional development for teachers. To include these considerations, we did design, developed, and integrated mobile-friendly software on the internet at elearn.advancinged.org and for the intranet, the Lonica Internet in the Box software, which is a customized version of Internet in a Box that includes a more uh, elaborate use of Moodle. These images showcase some of the student Raspberry Pi projects in the schools, which were shared at the National STEM Festival. 25 teams and teachers in 2020 were awarded by the Cambodia STEM Excellence Pathway, the annual STEM Innovation Award, which included funding for future STEM projects. So the Cambodia STEM Excellence Pathway holds workshops to provide tools to evaluate local programs and a process to create an aligned plan for integrated improvement and a guide to specific steps to improve local education, including mentoring and coaching. And all of these processes can be done on the Raspberry Pi. Working with educators, we mentored, coached, and trained participants in the Cambodia Wolfram Workshop in 2019 and later. In 2021, a project with Wolfram mentors who attended the Wolfram Summer Academy is in the work. In the month-long workshop, over 20 students and 200 educators at the National Institute of Education, New Generation School Presisawa, and Cambodian Children's Fund became familiar with Wolfram computational thinking on the Raspberry Pi. The Minister of Education, Youth and Sports awarded certificates to recognize the participants' efforts and commitment to using Wolfram software. As schools closed during the pandemic, the Cambodia STEM Excellence Pathway focused on supporting public school educators in blended and online learning. A series of workshops were initiated from July to November of this year with the Cambodian Association of Mentoring and the New Generation Pedagogical Research Center. These workshops provide virtual professional development and resources for blended and online learning using playlists or hyperdocs and also the Moodle learning management systems and the Canvas learning management systems for those who are interested in the ASU PD program. These workshops also, also support the national professional learning community led by CAM, NGPRC, and NIE. Following these successful workshops, we are piloting now an ASU Prep Digital rollout in Cambodia to public schools, and we are piloting professional development and co-creation of courses in Moodle on the site of NCN Education. The second topic in this session is to describe our work on creating a student-centered professional development and course creation process in Moodle on the internet. Advancing Education and Lanika Internet in a Box support mentoring, coaching, professional learning communities, and professional development course creation. You should also see the CICME 2021 course by Lana Sonica, who talks about the technology used at advancinged.org. In either the Raspberry Pi intranet or on the internet, courses, resources, and recognition can support local professional learning communities and local alignment for rural settings using the Raspberry Pi Lanika internet in a box. And the advantages are a cost-free course creation and access to a template course library, a platform for mentoring, PLCs, and professional development in a blended and online learning management system course, 
digital resources and course resources are compatible for use on the Raspberry Pi. Teachers get rewards for creating and sharing resources and providing full courses. Digital badges and certificates are provided by credibility.com. And Advancing Education also provides a free conference site for international meetings, conference.advancinged.org. The third topic in this session is Moodle on the Internet in Box, a local internet with an LMS and also Mathematica, Vernier probes, a digital microscope, and more. Internet in a box is used in more than 20 countries. It provides access to an offline learning hotspot with any smartphone, tablet, or laptop. It provides access to the very best of the world's free learning, including Wikipedia, Pine Talks, OpenStreetMap, BK12 Academy, TED Talks, FET Software. Approximately 35 students can simultaneously connect to each of the Raspberry Pis. So I'm going to show a video demonstration on a, of the smartphone screen capture of an offline connection. Here you see uh, students accessing the USB stick for the teacher so that she can provide daily content. The next thing I'll show is the Moodle Learning Management System demo for grades 9 to 12 physics and Khmer. Curriculum is designed, guided by the ITEEA 60 Learning by Design Instructional Model. You can tailor access by login for teachers and students. Within the course, I have designated the activities by a naming system that includes the subject, the grade, the book chapter, and the unit. Here you see the different courses that are available. I have courses also in English that are open source uh, courses, biology, chemistry, programming, professional development for teachers, and more. And you see that uh, P7, 3, 1 would mean physics, grade 7, chapter 3, unit 1. Here you can see the activities that hopefully will get done in the classroom using inexpensive materials. And also you'll see learning outcomes and other information needed to help students implement inquiry-based education. Teachers can also embed videos. So I'll show a example of that. Students can use their phone hand gestures to change the orientation or magnification level. Nietzsche Multimite Samra Kuavol Ompea Nang Resistan. ដើម្បីប្រើឧបករណ៍វវលនេះយើងត្រូវយកខ្សែ Here you see the pet simulation being used for the student. So as I said, this is actually the screen capture from a, a smartphone. Here you can see that I have put in Walter Fett simulations and others descriptions of Wolfram demonstration project that the students can do. And also I have links to the 
Sokolov content that supports distance learning with the FET simulation and the Kathleen Coney labs. In addition, last year, the ministry produced many videos and I have loaded on the Raspberry Pi about 100 gig gigabytes of videos which cover grades seven through 12 content in science and math. So the Lanika Sim in the box is a Raspberry Pi 4 and it has 256 gigabyte SD card, runs Raspbian Linux 5.4, the ARM 7, and a high definition wide angle camera attached. It's both the internet in the box and also the uh, operating system used for doing labs. Students can collect and interpret data using the Raspberry, Raspberry Pi GPIO pen, USB port, Bluetooth, and also uh, coding and science STEM apps. So this is a Creative Commons license from the University of Utah course in biology, which we are translating into Khmer and also tailoring it to match the national curriculum. This is a Khmer dictionary. You can see that it reformats for the window. We also have my wiki pages and other material. This is a HTML book. So we could create HTML content here outside of Moodle to deliver uh, STEM projects. This is the full collection of pet simulations in Khmer, which students can get access to. Here you see the student changing the orientation of phone and magnifying the display on the phone. And you can see that all of the features work. They could hide the bars for the browser, but that wasn't done. But here you can see that uh, the student could then use the activities which David Sokoloff created for distance learning using chat. We have put in professional development content, both in Moodle in a course and also at the level of the homepage. This is the Khan Academy Lite. We haven't put in the English videos yet because we don't have dubbing, but you can see that the full uh, set of courses is there and also that uh, students can take the skill checks and get hints. So there's physics, chemistry, biology, math, and the Khan Academy. This is the California state curriculum, which they placed in CK-12. It includes both textbooks and also workbooks and books that have quizzes and tests for many different subjects. If the browser of the student has the Google Translator feature enabled, they could then translate this content. We are moving some of this content into Moodle into the courses, so it's easier for teachers to find having everything referenced to the subject year, chapter, and unit. This is a replacement for a Google Maps, which is better in some sense because it doesn't have ads. You can download to the street level information for places all around the world. You can also see here that they have access to great books of the world, to Node Red for doing uh, 
projects with the GPI Open to work with media to create websites. The next thing I want to demonstrate is student data collection and interpretation using microprocessors with all of the Vernier probes. So we have many different probes in Cambodia, and we use them both for STEM projects and for science classes. This is a video demonstration. It's a screen capture of data collection and graphing using the Vernier temperature probe with Professor Lestour software and mathematics. Here with the VNC connection, students can log into the Raspberry Pi, start Mathematica, and open up a notebook. This notebook is an instructional notebook on how to use the probes. You could have other notebooks that are specific to different STEM projects or to different experiments or activities. This one was created to give you a sense of how the probe software works. It's very simple. So you start the GoLink Mathematica software, and then you request a list of the commands to get data about the probe's properties. You can request the measurement period setting and change it. Here it shows that the probe is the stainless temperature probe. It's in giving values in Celsius. That the default time of 0.04 seconds has been changed to one second. That the probe is calibrated, and these are the calibration values. You can get the data values stored in the probe buffer in different ways. You can get the average of all the data points stored. You can get the standard deviation and the number of readings that are in the buffer. You can also have a simple interface that allows real-time charting of the sensor data. Students could either do a screen capture of this and place that into another document or share that document in Moodle, uh, they could also save this notebook and share that with the teacher or with their group. And they could then modify the notebook or expand on it to do a full project uh, presentation. And that would be in Mathematica, which is very powerful. So I see I'm getting close to my time. So I'm going to stop this share. So this will run until you stop it. We can have a more controlled. Okay. I'm going to stop it there uh, because we're getting close to the end of the time. And I want you to ask uh, any questions that you might have. Yes, uh, thank you so much, Dr. Catherine, for a great presentation. Now we have some questions. So please allow me to read a question for you. So the first question is from uh, Miss Sekuntia. I think she comes from Cambodia as well. And her question is, what are the challenges of expanding mentoring opportunity to rural skill without Wi-Fi? So can you see uh, some uh, challenges of expanding mentoring? So please. You know, the, the issue is you have excellent teachers and, and wonderfully intelligent students in rural regions, but the data plans are very expensive. The phones are very expensive. Professor Chan Roth said today that only 40% of Cambodian students have uh, a, a digital device. So we're talking about 60% of the, student, the students in Cambodia relying on paper. And uh, if we want to go towards a, uh, a middle economy and given the nature of the world and the lack of uh, tourism, uh, technology and access to technology is very important. So I felt, and in, in, in 20 countries around the world, they have found the solution that the Raspberry Pi, one little box of, which can be, it can be very inexpensive. You don't want to do the science experiment. It can be $20, can give to every student in that room a login to access all of these resources. 
They can do the, the FET simulation. They can do, they can work with Mathematica in small groups uh, because that's a VNC connection. So I think that we have to acknowledge the fact that they are not going to get these resources. There's not the infrastructure in place. So then how can we help them? So there's a short-term solution, I think, which is to give them a hub. You know, because if you have a learning management system in Cambodia with teachers developing content here, even though a rural teacher doesn't have access to professional development, they can use the resources that are being shared in this new library. So we're trying to create a course library uh, and everybody who comes into the system then donates their library to the group and that gets sent out to the teachers in rural areas. So those teachers in rural areas who are so isolated and don't have a whole community of people around them with computers helping them develop, they don't have a professional learning community, the best thing we can do is we can give it to them. And even though perhaps they don't understand why it's relevant, they can start to see patterns. So that, that is what I think would be the most helpful. You know, even though they, they have limits, we have to find a way to give them give them things that can get information to the students. Thank you for that question. Experiment run where you collect a series okay. of questions and send the information in a tape. So sorry about that. Sorry about that. So we'd like to say is thank you so much, Dr. Katherine, for such a great presentation, including the question and answer. And uh, we do believe that this presentation, including the question and answer, are very useful for all the participants. So because of the time constraint, uh, we cannot go uh, further. So we apologize for that. So uh, Dr. Catherine, would you like to say something before? Please always, to... please always feel free to uh, get in touch with me. Uh, I'm now at the New Generation Pedagogical Research Center and as a, a international research fellow, and I am here for you. I, this is my retirement, and my retirement is helping other people, you know, and I think that the teachers here are amazing, and the students are amazing, and please always feel free that I have an open door for you, and thank you for your great efforts. Thank yes. you. Yes, thank you, Dr. Katrin, once again for your valuable time.